I'm doing pretty good with food. No! Adam! Oh, and then the... F <laughs> That's the worst time for the gopher to pop up. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Niche, or Niche, depending on your pronunciation of it. This is a genetic survival game similar to Birthdays the Beginning, except the vast difference is in Birthdays the Beginning, you were breeding two different species together to try and make different species. In this game, you have a cat-like species where you're trying to build a successful family. So each cat has their own attributes, and if you breed two cats together that have a good blend of attributes, you're obviously going to get better offspring. So I really like the idea of this game. We're gonna start it up today, see if you guys like it, and uh, yeah, have some fun with some kitties. So we're going to uh, delete this because my power decided to go out as I was Recording. That was kind of annoying, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get back into it and start the story mode. Now it's gonna start with a little cutscene so you can see what this species is all about. Ah, the leaves are falling. It's fall time, guys, in the real world and in the niche world. And there's the family. Aren't they cute? So yeah, this is obviously some sort of otherworldly species. Very adorable, though. I'm really glad it was this species that we got to be. Uh, okay. Well, that's not good. We got a huge predator coming in. And there goes a cute little kitty. Goodbye, planet, or island, I guess you could say. We are not in a good situation right now. And there he is. Cold, alone, and way too damn adorable. I mean, look at that guy. How could you not feel right now? How could you not shed a tear right now? Don't look at me. It's too rough right now. Uh, but yes, this is us. We're all alone, cold, hungry, and we need a mate. All right, so here we are in the game, guys. Here's my uh, cute little Adam is his name. Ouch, that hurt. Look around. You are all alone. Oh, thanks for not letting me read that. Try and see if you can still walk. Click on Adam and then the blue paw symbol to move. So I have played this a little bit. I do know the basics of it. And it's, I mean, you can see it's a hexagon game, which is really cool. The islands are randomly generated, so each gameplay is going to be totally different. And basically, you have special abilities around your world if your guy can do certain things. For example, let's actually go deeper into it right away, just so I can confuse you guys even more. So here's our genetics. This is Adam's genetics right here. You can see some of the grayed out ones. These are things he can't do. Feeding from the bottom, for example. Fishing, Adam is not a good fisherman. Uh, strong voice, Adam doesn't have a strong voice. He's got kind of a light little voice like this. Uh, but yes, you get the idea. Uh, each character gets their own special attributes, and that's the basics of the game. You wanna blend attributes together to get better offspring, like I said before. But we're gonna quickly go through this tutorial. Hopefully we can find a mate here. Try and walk. So, basically, this is a turn-based game. We'll walk right now. It seems that you are not in injured. That's good news. Thanks, game. It was a long day. Time to get some sleep. So if we press spacebar here, Sleep happens, it's very quick, so nighttime in this game you don't have to deal with, which is nice. I hate survival games that have like eight hour night cycles. Very, very annoying. The world looks brighter today, time to explore this new place. All right, so we get, we understand how to rotate and whatnot, and you can see this walkway here. This is how to get to another island. So when you're done this island, you can go and explore. There seems to be plenty of food on this island. Let's find something to eat. All right, so we're actually right by a berry bush right now, so. Uh, I don't know if you saw that before, but this one, we can either attack it, for whatever reason, if, if you hate berries. You can be very aggressive towards them, or you can collect the fruit. So, we're gonna collect some fruit. We still have quite a bit of fruit over here, but I do want to get a little bit of a stockpile, uh, because we don't know when we'll find our next meal. Tasty berries are a great source of nutrition. You're damn right they are. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Maybe it's time to leave this place. All right, so we want to move out now. It's looking like there's nothing else here. I'm gonna still take some berries though, damn it. I want to get my collection going. Uh, now, Adam... Actually, let's just wait for daytime so you guys can see it. Adam has three different senses he can use. So currently, we are in eyesight mode, so obviously you get the beautiful color here and you can see anything that's around, but obviously Adam is a cat or a dog that can smell really well, so you can see that little bright gray area. That's where he can smell. If there's a rabbit hiding in a bush, you'll probably be able to smell it. 
And then, of course, I mean, look at those big ears. He's got really good hearing, so you can see the white line here where he can hear little skittering critters if they are around. But like it said, this island's deserted. I just thought I would show you guys that because I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. So let's get out of here and go to a new world. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but we actually got bigger too. So it seems to be that life in this game is very, very quick. So we got to go find a mate. Uh, like as quickly as possible here. So what's the quickest way? We gotta go over here. Uh, I, I guess I could take down these bushes because we are gonna need some bedding as well. So let's do that real quick. And then we'll just walk right to the stone. So if we do this, and then if we swipe that, sometimes you get more bedding. That time, unfortunately, I did not. But we did make our way to the stone. So we'll sleep once again. And, oh, is that what those gems are for? All right, I always wondered what these gems were. I think that's how many moves that unit can use because the smaller the creature is, the less dots on their chest, meaning the less moves they can use, which makes sense. That's really actually pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna leave this island and go to another randomly generated island. Hopefully this one has a mate. All right, check out this one looking uh, actually pretty damn bland, but I'm seeing some sort of nest here. Did you hear that? It sounds like another animal living on this island. Uh, find the wild animal, offer food to join your tribe. Okay, so just like real life, you need to offer things to get people to join you. So let's just do this. We're gonna walk over here. Oh, okay, you just ran out of the woods anyway. So there she is. Check out that lady. She's like a good nine out of 10, that's for sure. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so we go over, and we can either offer food to join tribe, or we can attack and kill Eve and probably lose the game. So let's not do that. Let's offer her some food, and bam! She's my bitch now. <laughs> okay, so Adam's tired. He had a rough day, but as you can see, Eve still has three things to do. The animal we found is a female called Eve. Now you can explore and find a new island together. Tip! You can use the tab key to switch between animals. All right, so there we go. We're on Eve right now. Let's, uh... See if Eve can hear anything or see anything. I just want to find a rabbit or something. All right, so we're, we're going to need some bedding. There we go. We actually got some bedding that time, so we're going to take that. Uh, now we got two mouths to feed, so it looks like we can't grab any more apples off that tree. Maybe they'll regrow tomorrow. We can mate with Adam. Adam, I think, is too tired, though, so let's, uh, let's do a little bit of exploring before we mate. Root, try and dig up ground. Uh, I don't know what that does. Let's try it out. Low chance to succeed, and Eve fell asleep, so I don't think it, su it succeeded. All right, you guys, feel free to regen. Good morning, buttercups. What the heck is that thing? Oh my god, it's a gopher with antlers? You are too adorable to kill, but I'm gonna kill you anyways. All right, Adam, let's go, uh, let's go say hi to Mr. Gopher here. Oh, there we go. Killed the gopher, and look at all that delicious food. So, we're gonna wanna get as much food as possible. There's also an acorn over here. All right, Eve, it's your turn. Let's go collect some berries. They did regrow. Perfect, look at that, back to 21 food. And we can probably go collect that nut tomorrow. So, is there any more gophers coming out of here? Oh, no, but more nuts are falling. What the heck? Where did you come from, you adorable little bastard? Okay, so we got bunnies. We got lots of food here. But it's telling me to make a family, so let's focus on doing that. Move your animals together and mate. All right, it's as simple as that, guys. If you ever want to mate with someone, you just got to move together. Okay, so time to mate. She's already pregnant. Oh, with, I hope with me. It said All it said was she's already pregnant. Are you cheating on me, Eve? What the hell? Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest to give birth. Build a nest with Eve and rest for the night. Okay, why does she look so sad? Don't be sad, we're, we're, we're gonna have a kid. Okay, so we can build a nest right under her and she's basically a bird, as you can see, and she'll pop out an egg. Uh, I, I don't know if it's actually an egg, by the way. I hope it is, because that'd be awesome. Uh, what is, I don't know what digging does. I really want to find out though. All right, but I know there was a bunny over here, so if we use our nose, I'm not actually, oh wait, is there something in there? I don't know, I thought, I thought you could see very easily with your nose but maybe that's not the case. Okay, but Eve's still good, but I'm just gonna let her sit there and pop out her kid. So, bam! Look at that! We made a kid. Now, oh, your first offspring has been born. Now you are a real family. The baby's genes are a mix of the parents' genes. Genes defines how animals look and what abilities they have. Click on the family tree at the bottom left corner to see our animals, which is what we'll be doing in a second here. So. Yeah, let's go check this out. So we got our family tree now. You can see Adam and Eve made... Oh god, what is that name? Dirk Duck Van Kerr. Duck Van Kerr the first. So if we uh, kind of look in here, you can see certain traits 
Uh, he didn't get off Adam. For example, distasteful appearance. What the f- Adam, you look great. Don't let society run you down, Adam, because you look beautiful, buddy. God damn. Society with their unrealistic expectation, expectations on Adam. I love how you can change the names, too. So, uh, yeah, this is actually really cool. Now, what did he get off of her? Uh, it's looking- Ooh, actually. Is it a replica of her almost? No, nope, he didn't get the the cracking ability from his mother, but I think Duck Van Kerr is going to be a great unit. I don't like his name though, so we're gonna change that. I'm just gonna call him Fred, because he, he he looks like a Fred to me. He's, he's pretty cute. All right, Fred, or Duck Van Kerr, we are now a family. Uh, let's crack open that nut. Okay, so that's the cracking that she can do. That's actually really useful, so that's another method of food for us. We're gonna crack open that. Thank you, Mom. We should probably go get that other nut. All right, Dad, let's go. Where'd that bunny go? That's what I want to know. Can we hear or see it? Uh, I Well, I know there's a fruit plant in there, so we're going to want to open that up. Hopefully, the bunny's in there with it. Maybe he's just being silent and we can't hear it. Okay, so there's two different things here. High grass, clear away foliage, small chance to find a nest material, and then we can either attack the berry bush. So I just want to clear away and then take some berries. The bunny, I don't know where the bunny went, man. And now we're on day two. Fred is a little bit bigger as you can see. Oh God, these guys are so cute. Uh, so yes, we got lots of fruit here. So before we leave and go to a new world, let's collect all the fruit we can get. There's no predators here. So this is obviously a really nice place to be uh, because we don't have to worry about too much right now. What does this do? Oak tree, shake tree. Oh, look at that, mom. All right, use your cracking ability to your advantage. How are they cracking nuts anyways, mom? I want to know what you're doing to do that. All right, dad, I'm going to need you. Uh, there's still fruit on here. Can I not? I can't. No more food. Bull crap. Okay, I, I guess they're green and they're growing. So let's go over here and collect that fruit. There we go. And maybe little Jimmy here, or Fred. I, I, I'm going to call him Jimmy all the time now. Watch. Fred can only move once. He's still a little kid. He can't do too much. All right, but this is the end of the tutorial. Did I miss anything here? Uh, nope. We basically go on from here alone. So I'm going to chill on this island for a little bit. Again, we got lots of food. We are collecting food, so that's exactly what you want to do. And oh my god, you're growing up too quick. Soon Adam and Eve are going to die. I'm going to be really sad. So we might want to move really, really quickly to expand my community out? I don't know how quickly I need to expand. That's the problem. Benefit is we got little Fred here if we do need to go find someone really, really quickly. Can I attack? Banish from your tribe. Okay. If you're bad, Fred, I'll banish you, man. All right. Oh! Did you just come out from the water, little bunny? Okay. So the bunny is here, and I'm thinking, we're gonna go kill that bunny! And we got some delicious meat. I can't pick it up right now because I'm all tired from fighting him. But not too bad. All right, can we do anything with this guy? We can dig it up. Okay, let's try that. He failed. And I'm just going to leave mom there. She's really good at collecting nuts. So, I mean, she's at the perfect spot to just keep collecting nuts here. You can whack that. <laughs> I mean, you get the idea. But I think we're getting to the point where I don't really need to worry about food right now. Especially with that rabbit kill. We just got four more pieces of food. So, I might end up leaving here. Yeah, you know what? Let's all go to the stone. All right, so there's not much information on traveling. I don't know how to travel with multiple units. Hopefully it just works. I mean, they're all looking at me, so... Oh, we can make another baby. I didn't even think about that. We could have more kids if we want to, uh, which I think we're gonna do when we move. All right, so island travel. All animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside a port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. What is a port field? Can I... I'm assuming, like, right beside it, I hope. I'm, I'm gonna try it, we'll see what happens. I hope I didn't lose my family right now. I'm assuming port fields mean the flowers. I didn't see anything of that in the tutorial. Yes, there we go. So, I think that's probably to limit the size of your family. Where the heck are we now? Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Okay, so we can't see anything. So we're gonna have to do some uh, exploration here. Let's uh do some ground clearance really quickly. Uh, what was that? So, I think I just yelled or something inside my belly yelled? Am I hungry? Like, I don't know what that really meant. We got some more apples here, though. So, as you can see, we still got lots of food, which is really good. I'm gonna take all the apples. Is that a fish? I don't think I have anyone with fishing, do I? Why is she sad? Okay, she... I don't know if she always looks sad, but it worries me. Uh, low chance to succeed. I don't know what the digging does still. So, we haven't been able to successfully do it. Oh. 
Can I just go grab that fish? I feel like I almost could. Adam, lick to clear bleeding. Oh, remove parasite. Oh, that's what happened to Adam. Okay, uh, definitely want to, ew, are we going to eat that? I hope not, that's gross. Okay, let's lick to cure bleeding. There you go, Adam. I figured out what was wrong with you, man. I hope you're okay now. That's a, that's a little scary that random things like that can happen. We do have an apple tree over here, so that's good. And we're getting to the point where I can have a nice little nest and another baby because our little boy is all grown up. All right, I'm just curious. Can we... Oh my God, I can mate with my son? Dude, that is, that is some inbreeding, but that might be useful considering the stats that each of them have. You know what? All right, mom, this is this is this is weird already. <laughs> Let's just try it just to see what happens when a gray and a yellow one mate. All right, so she's pregnant and sad. Oh, we need to get nesting material. I didn't even think about that. All right, so I need to go get as much nesting material as possible. So there we go. I think I need 10. And good old Eve here can make her bed. Let's also try and collect some of this just in case we can and also expand out our territory so we're doing pretty good as you can see this island we're almost at the tree which is a great place for her because she can get us nuts but aside from that there really hasn't been too much on this island which is probably a good thing because I don't know how to you know fight off predators or anything so I'm kind of glad it's been kind of light so far all right but it's time for a new day we also got rainfall so that means new fruit all around us as well we're gonna have a new baby! So, this one's even more yellow. What the hell just fell out of the sky? I swear I saw something. Anyways, check out this little whippersnapper, Mariko. I actually like that name. I think I'll keep you with Mariko. Ooh, I just moved up and we got some animals over here. Those are the little bunny guys. So, I think what I'm going to do... Well, first of all, we'll get some apples here. I think I'm going to go try and get those guys before Adam dies, as sad as that is. And with good old Fred over here, I'm going to start preparing an opening to possibly leave this island. So now we're starting to spread out a little bit. All right, let's get off this view because it is very annoying to have the gray screen. So what I, yeah, I should go down here and collect these fruit with this little guy because he can't do too much. Mom's still good right now, so let's get her to go and collect more bedding because we are going to need that stuff very, very soon. Man, it is a lot of mating and eating. Just like real life, I guess. All right, Adam, I don't know if you have one or two days left. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I'm not able to break it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I broke the bush and took all the fruit. Uh, so that's what happens when you attack the bush. I thought I was getting rid of some of the plants, but that's not the case. I think Adam is officially going to uh, leave us, guys, as sad as that is. You know what? He, he started this tribe, so we got to appreciate him. There we go. So I'm just trying to get as much bedding as possible at this point because we are going to need that stuff very, very quickly. And let's take that down. All right, where are you? Did they move? Oh, yeah, of course they did. They're, they're moving back. They're trying to run away. And good old Mariko over here has made it to the fruit bush. So we're going to get some of those. We're still at 30 food, so we haven't lost any food, even with four units. So I'm doing pretty good with food. No! Adam! Oh, and then the... F <laughs> That's the worst time for the gopher to pop up. You're on a dead body. What is wrong with you, gopher? Okay, Eve. Go pay this gopher a little visit and take him out. <laughs> there we go. So... Rest in peace, little Adam. Can we uh, bury him? All right, I'm gonna grab some more food here because we can. You know what? Let's uh, attack the berry bush as well. See if I can destroy it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I think we actually need to start preparing to leave, though. I think Eve's gonna die here, so there's gonna be two left. And yep, there she goes. So all we got is the kids left, guys. This one's still not an adult, so that's kind of scary. Let's bring her over. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave this place. We got lots of food. I just need more bedding. And here we are, this one. Wow. Okay, I think we're going to be here for a little while, guys. And I'm thinking, considering there's even rivers here, there's got to be some creepy predators and whatnot. So we do got to play it safe. But at least... We are now at a much bigger world. So, man, I, I am not good at collecting bedding. I, 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 that's, that's what I need. I, I need a kid that's really good at collecting bedding because I, I have like a 50% success rate here. It's pretty bad. So we're at eight. We just need two more. So hopefully today we can do that. Then we can have some more kids. 
All right, Fred. Mariko didn't get me anything. Ooh. Ooh. Um, that... Okay, let's actually sniff around, because I'm a little concerned right now. That's a pretty big bedding area. Doesn't look like anybody's here, though. What does the shell do? Is it just showing me a shell? Oh, maybe shell fish. You can eat it, probably. Uh, all right, so... Oh, man. We are really not good at getting bedding, guys. All right, another day. Let's hope these guys don't die before I can have a kid. Uh, let's actually see how many days they got left. They, they're still good. Remaining days left, 16? Oh, she's fine, but what about good old Fred here? I mean, he's getting up there. He's got five days left. He needs to put a baby in her real quick. What the heck? How am I so bad at getting... Ah, uh, bedding. Okay, come on. Yes! There we go, and let's move right over to her. So tomorrow, before good old Fred dies, uh, we can have a kid. All right, Fred. Ta ta time to do some magic to your sister, buddy. So wrong on so many levels, but we did it. So at least now we can have another kid. And we are starting to lose some food, so good old Fred, collect some berries there. And actually, she can collect some as well right over here. Look at that. So we are at a pretty good spot. I'm going to cut that off, and bam. Now it's time for kid number three. And he looks just like, oh, what the heck? You are adorable. Well, let's go back to the family tree. This is always fun. Van Vecker. Ah, uh, pretty interesting little guy here. So Mariko, let's see the differences here. Van Vecker actually doesn't have as much as his mother. The mothers are really good at cracking eggs. And Fred over here, compared to Van Vecker, Van Vecker once again has that distasteful scent, which is a good thing. Okay, so not much difference in terms of our characters just yet. What we need to find, I feel like, is something that is not our family, obviously, because we're going to have very similar genes as we go down the tree. What I really need to do is start exploring and finding something totally new. And, oh man, I totally forgot. He's gone, guys. He is totally gone, so can we do anything? Oh, look at that. You're getting big already. I was hoping we could bury the dead, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So he is not good at cracking, but she, she is. And that's actually two food each, so it might be smart to kind of chill by this tree for a little bit, or at least go around it just to get as much of those nuts as possible. All right, let's use some of our vision, though. So we do got some more gophers. Let's actually... I don't really think about it. We can walk. Oh, oh, they're hiding. Uh, so we can't sneak up on them. I was hoping I could use the bush to my advantage. Doesn't look like I can, but I can take off the high grass and kind of wait for them. There's lots here, though. We got a whole gopher territory here. Let's, uh, let's follow her and we'll take some of that grass because we're going to need more bedding. Again, we might need to inbreed a little bit, but that's just part of the game. Can we actually use those beds? I wonder. You know what? Let's go over and let's let mom do the loving here. And if we sit up here, let's just see what happens. Maybe we'll have a kid. I Oh, I didn't realize that. So we could just use anyone's bed? All right. So again, more inbreeding. Who, who's who's this one? Oh my God. Are you serious? Meme? I, I, I had a meme as a kid. I didn't, oh my god, nobody's gonna believe I didn't change that name, but his name is literally, or her, I don't know, if is it his or her? Oh, it is a her. So we have meme now, guys. <laughs> Look at this family tree. If somebody saw this, they'd be like, what the hell is wrong with your family? But uh, you know what? That's, that, that's the wildlife, man. There ain't no Tinder out there. You have slim pickings, man. <gasps> oh, no way. Look at that. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How are you doing? Please, please don't attack me. I just want to say hello. Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, oh, you attacked her. You can't. No, I can't. I, I can't lose her. I, I, I can't even move away. So, oh, crap. What, what, what am I going to do here? S I was hoping to be friends. All right, let's let, let's pull the little one back. We don't want to lose them. Uh, Mariko is on his last legs to begin with, so we might want to... Dude, how many of them... Okay, so we have a big bad one. Yeah, so maybe the red means they're bad, but the green one behind him seems nice. So, I don't... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that either! Oh, no! No, I'm really screwing up! Okay, at this point... What is he doing? You evil person! You are huge, by the way! 
Uh, I, I, I don't know how he got so big. This is not good for my family, though, damn it. Actually, wait, I didn't even think about this. This is really not good for my family, because I got two females now. Oh, crap. Okay, how, how, I don't, the problem is I don't know how to go over there and attack him without him attacking me first. And that's the issue I'm at right now, so... I'm just gonna pull this one back. Maybe I should just run away. But I need a male! That's the problem. I need to find a male, and that one male seemed rather nice. This guy over here, and this guy's like, no, you can't have him. So, I don't think I have a choice. I need to make a move here, a risky move. And... The problem is I can't fucking attack him. Please don't attack me. There we go, I'm attacking him! Okay, so... We need to work together here. Please don't kill her. Okay, okay. Oh, you're okay. All right, this means business. We got two females. Hopefully that's enough to take this guy down. So, yes. Attack, attack. There we go. I've gotten the hang of it now. And attack. Yes, we killed them. Females unite. And let's take some of that delicious meat. And hopefully we can mate with the other guy. Look at all that meat. We needed that. That was actually really useful. And we're just gonna sleep. Oh, please don't attack. Okay, he I don't think he attacked. I think he's actually Yeah, he's green, so he's good. So let's go say hi. Hey, how you doing? You want a mate and stuff? Uh friendly. Yes, offer three food. There we go! That's all I needed to do. So the other one didn't want anything to do with us. But this one's cool. Alright, so let's open this up, get a good look at this guy. No, don't don't attack. Take away the high grass. Alright, so. You're, you're, you're not the prettiest, but you know what? You're pretty cute. All right, so we're going to now... Wait, is it not part of my group? Because it's still moving around on its own. Is that a whole different species? It's hard to tell. Man, did, did, did I really just think that that was part of me? What, what is this? It doesn't even say what this is. I, I, I kind of want to do it. Oh, it's in the water. Okay, in the back here, in the water. Uh, did it just die? Did he die? No, he's right there. Okay, let's actually... Yeah, so that is a different species. I thought it wasn't, but there's no way I can mate with it, and it's just, just totally friendly with me. So at this point, my only choice is to go look for love, because <laughs> all I got is females. All right, so I'm glad we're friendly. I, I really wasted a lot of my food on you, though. I probably shouldn't have. Wait, am, 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 I, am, I, am I crazy? Did I not? It is a male! Why did I say it was a female, and then I assumed it was a female? Oh god, you guys would have been mad at me if I didn't notice that. Okay, well, that's good at least. It means we still have a chance for survival. Okay, so how much life does she have left? Uh, she did lose part of her life due to that fight, but we're still good. She has seven days remaining, so we're just gonna have to go back to that nest. I'd rather not use my nesting material if we're right by a nest, so... Back there, and ready to pop out another- Who the heck?! Now- now you come! Just after I figure that out? Okay, uh, hey buddy. Let's talk to this one. Mate, uh, offer five food to join my tribe. That's actually... He's not being aggressive, and I'm actually getting low on food, so... it's the one thing I'm worried about. You know what? No, let's, uh... Shh, no, because then if we do that, we only got like two days of food. Problem is, I, I could mate her, but then she's gonna have a kid on her own and not be part of my tribe. If I was a female, that could be an option, though. So, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. And look at that! We got someone totally new into our tribe. We're not inbreeding anymore. This is great. She's got blue eyes, too. Check her out. All right, so now we'll at least mate, and we can pop out another kid right when she's done popping out a kid. But what I got to do is go find some food. We do got those gophers over there. I mean, the wolf, he's cool with us. We could technically eat him if we really wanted to. It would, it would be a hard fight, though. All right, do we have enough? No, how do we get these moles, man? Do we need to, like, sneak up on them? We gotta figure out an easy way to get food. We're down to three food, so tomorrow we are officially out of food, and we only have four- well, we have four mouths to feed, so bad things might happen. I hope starvation is not that quick. Let's actually look around. So we got a fruit bush right here, perfect. There's fruit bush- ah, there's actually a lot of fruit bushes right within our range, so we got lucky there. And we're gonna use her to collect some apples. And more apples. We need lots and lots of apples. There we go. That was actually a really good run. Oh, yeah, we had a kid, too. Totally forgot about that. I should probably go check him out in a second. I just want to get some food first. Lots and lots of food because we're doing good now. We, we, we had a little bit of a risky run there, but now it seems like we've stabilized. Oh, look at that. He wasn't able to get away. So I think what I have to do when it comes to the moles is go behind their head. 
because this one did not leave, and that is great. We got some nuts here, got a little bit of everything. Uh, we're going to keep her there. We'll walk this person. Oh, what is this? Build nest. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. But we do want to grab that meat. There we go. All right, food was getting low, but we're coming back, guys. All right, guys, well, we're doing pretty good here. We have a good baseline. I think I can quickly find some food and stabilize a little bit. So if you guys like this game, let me know in the comments below, and we will, of course, do some more of it. Once again, this was Niche. If you want to know anything more about it, links will be in the description of this video. Uh, next episode, we'll probably be kind of clear-cutting this island, uh, getting a good base going on, and then exploring the vast landscape of these other connected islands. So as always, thanks for watching and liking guys, and I'll see you in the next one.